So we're gonna do this very naturally because we did not do this multiple other times. Mark got this, he's a professional, watch. All right, take 27. We are back in the Penumbra Foundation. We're gonna do the final part, or the final part of the first part. We have four parts. Four parts. Yeah. Anyway, this is part four. Um, we have looked at a camera, see how a film camera kind of works. We have shot the camera yeah. with the best subject in the world, at Malois. Um, we've dev the film, which was successful, and today we're going to do what I think is the most exciting part, is actually make some black and white photographs from film. Ready? Yes. All right, let's go. We're going to start today with a quick fire round. Okay. Um, I don't... You get a point if you get it right. You get a point if you make a smi make you smile, <laughs> and you lose a point if you don't do either of these things. <laughs> okay. okay, it's going to be two parts to everything we do here. Okay. What what it is and what its use is. Okay. I'm going to start you off nice and simple here. What are these? Oh, these are gloves. I had an OJ joke, but I'm not going to make it. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a point. What's this? Thread. Like okay. that, yeah. Like it looks like um, yarn thread. Yeah. What, what what use does it have for photography? For photography, you know what's crazy? I would have no idea. Are we going to be threading anything through our um, through our? Uh, Correct chicken? answer. It has absolutely no use for the process okay. we're about to do. Okay, so <laughs> so we just have it just to have it. We just had it there for fun. Okay. Uh, okay. Number three. Uh yes, this is a drug inspector. All right, you, you look at this. Okay, you to... got the point left. <laughs> All right, so I assume this is in order to check the focus of our photos or any of that. Am I all right? Let's go. That's two points right there. Drugs and photos, people. Diversify your bonds. Okay, this. All right, this is a 1970s kink inspector where you paddle just or, or just the, like the worst ping pong paddle <laughs> ever <laughs> this is that yes that um, is correct all right so it has this label here that says just right and i was hoping that it would kind of give me a cheat sheet for this so i'm blatantly gonna say i don't know what it is all right that's cool good effort um this holds your negative uh yeah it looks like it would it looks like it would i mean larger not bad i said it in my heart okay. just not in my mouth now, I want you to try and be as clean as possible here <laughs> with your answer, but what do you think that this may be? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I'm going to help you here. I'm going to give you a clue. This is the other part that sometimes is used in conjunction. So, all right. This is, <laughs> this is, this is first of all, very high tech stuff, okay? All right. This is from the future. Um, all right, this feels like this was cut out of here at some at some point. I assume in order to not have the light affect the negatives, that, it, I mean, it's black, it's there to absorb. Four points, <laughs> Okay. All right, so basically what this is, you're right. If um, there's a negative that I want to make darker, yeah. how do I do it? Well, I want to block all the other light, mm. but I want to use this to let the light shine through on the area of the negative. Oh, okay. And then that's the reverse, let's say, you don't. You want somebody's face to be a little bit lighter. You're gonna have to hold that over their face, so it doesn't get as much light, which will mean that it will stay whatever it is. The camera member can't think. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, no, I just want to make a point real quick, guys. That's dodge and burn. Yes, it's Photoshop right here. Yeah, it's like in physical form. You can touch it. Just want to point that out. Yeah, no, <laughs> I mean you're 100% right. Yeah. All right, so we're going to take our negative and we're going to put it in our negative holder here. Then we're going to take this and we're going to place it in our enlarger. Okay, and then we're going to close down our enlarger head. We have the negative in the enlarger. We have this set up. Now, I think in order for us to see this image, I think we're going to have to turn the lights off because there's too much light. So let's turn the lights off. We have our image, you can see it, it's obviously me, it's back in my head, a coat and all that. Yes. It's in reverse, obviously, because it's a negative. So this dial here will allow us to fo find focus. Okay. Okay, and then this is a lens, so that has an aperture as oh, well. Oh, sick. So there's all different ways you can work out where your exposure is. Yeah. With a, with a um, enlarger lens, 
from what I remember, we don't want to shoot wide open, you don't want to shoot closed down, you want to shoot the middle of the lens. All right, so the middle of the lens is the middle of the f-stops, right? Yeah. So I can't see anything, so I'm just going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six stops, and then open up one, two, three. So that's, that's right in the middle of the lens. Cool. All that's right. Like so the next thing we're going to do is uh, focus and do a test print strip. Okay. 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 So Lamont, that is now sharp, right? Yeah. Can you get your eye to it and see it? Yes, I can. I see a lot you of see, different film gray? grain. Yeah, yeah. All right, so put your hand on the focus knob. And that right, is... That's up a bit, that's it. Just yeah. turn it slightly one way or the other, and you'll see it come back into focus. Oh, okay. Gone too so. far. Yeah, come back. Super slow movements. And when you see that kind of like that anything amount of grain. sharp, yeah. that's a grain. So that's the actual grain of the film that is now sharp. Cool. Okay, hold on. Okay. Can I get the button back? I got it. I um, yeah, I'm going to change it just because I want to see one more time. It's yeah. really weird, right? Because you're not seeing image. The finer the, finer the grain film, yeah. the harder it is to find that grain. Okay. But that's how you sharpen it. Um, I've got an old scrap piece of paper here because you want to focus... On, you don't want to focus that much lower than it, so put some yeah. paper on. So that's focus. All right, so image is about ready. Chemicals are mixed. We're going to grab some paper and make a test. All right, so how we're going to do that is I have my paper hidden here in a little paper safe. Yes. I'm going to grab a sheet from said paper, shape, paper safe. And for economy reasons and wastage, I'm just going to use half of it. Oh, okay. Out of curiosity, why paper safe? Because, like, trying to get paper in and out of this box yeah. is a pain in the ass. Gotcha. So it's just faster. All right, so all I'm going to do is place this down here. Shiny side up, because it is shiny. And I'm going to grab a little piece of cardboard. Okay, grab this little piece of cardboard and I'm going to expose this for two seconds, then four seconds, then six seconds, then eight seconds. Okay. So we'll know the lightest one only had two seconds and the darkest one had eight. Okay. That's the plan. I don't know how it's going to actually work out. All right. So Let's I'm, go. So I'm going to hit this little uh, expose button and it should expose for two seconds. Two. Four, six, let's, let's do ten for the last one. Okay. All right, that is how you make your first test strip. So now you're going to take this exposed, put it in developer. See, oh, the ma see the magic in photography? Ta-da! That's a magic. That's alchemy right there, buddy. Oh, that's sick. Oh, and those are our different contrasts. See, yeah, there's different contrasts. So that's, I think, two, four, six, eight. Listen, you know, I think when people actually do this for real, yeah. they're not, they have their own ways of timing it. Um, I haven't been in the dark rooms. I was obviously banned from dark rooms when I was younger. <laughs> obviously. So um, now I'm back in. Oh, okay. But there's three of us, so we're in a good, we're, well, well, it could be worse. I don't know. Don't relapse. <laughs> <laughs> just, just not here, Mark. Right. When I first started doing photography, this was like the real magic. Yeah. To me, it just blew me away. Yeah. The first time I saw this disappearing. It's crazy. so very very cool. So I'll leave it another ten seconds again. Oh yeah. And then um, we're gonna lift it up and put it uh, into the stop bath. So that will stop the developing. 
pop it in there. Try not to put these tongs in there or these tongs in so anywhere else. Don't mix the tongs. Yeah, stout bath should be pretty quick. And then we're going to pop it in this fix. Now we're on to... Fixer. That fixer. Yeah, so that will hold it like that. and will stop it fading. Go ahead. And you're just... Yeah, just pressing. Pressing. You can just agitate the tray. Oh, okay. We'll do about 30 or 40 seconds in here and then we'll stick it in the wash. Let it drip. And then just throw it in the wash. There you go. And then now... Are we sinking her? Yeah, we'll see. And then now we can turn the light on and actually have a look at our contacts here. All right. Go! Holy shit! <laughs> Where do you want to be, bud? All right, so you said two, four, this is... Two seconds, Two seconds four. four seconds. All right, so it's definitely six, between eight, ten. It's definitely between four and six. All right, so five. Yeah, we'll go. We'll, we're gonna we'll cut. Go we're gonna do split five seconds. Yeah. All right, we're confident. Should we do a full sheet? Five seconds. Yes, I'm All very right, confident. Baby. In it. All right. I don't want to be ultra committal. I'm gonna be like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, this is a very committal process. Well, you got a hundred sheets of paper, man. Yeah, but you know, there are trees out there that sacrifice themselves for my photography. And you know, I just want to do right by them. All right, let's do right by the trees. All right, lights off again. All right, and here we go. All right, Lamont, okay. so we decided that we were going to do a five second yes. exposure, right? So I've set this to five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go, bada bing. Okay. Perfect. So having the aperture in the lens allows us to get the right exposure with a different time. Same as a camera, right? Yeah. So five seconds is pretty short if you're gonna do any dodging and burning. Yeah. Because you don't, uh, so you want, like, let's say you want the, to darken the face. You want a good amount of time to do that with. You don't want to be like, oh, no, no. Yeah. So I, what I think we should do is we should change the exposure. We should stop down okay. or stop up. I can't remember which way. Um, so give us a 10 second exposure. Okay. So if we need a 10 second exposure, we need the this to look darker or lighter? Um, darker. No. Correct. No, okay, cool. So right. Yeah. So. And also too, from the tools that you gave, if I wanted to have a certain portion of the image be a different contrast, we could just use any of those. So say if I wanted to have your face, lighter or if I wanted to have your face Yeah, we darker. can use the tools. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, no, but... Dodge, dodge and burn. Yeah, so yeah. But like within Photoshop, if you said, we're going to use the dodge tool, you only have two seconds. Oh God, I would cry. Right, so I'm saying, you, you want to give yourself a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay, we're going to close that. Okay. We're ready to expose. Hit the button, we should get 10 seconds. This, this one, right? Yep. Big one. Space bar. <laughs> oh, what was that? It was five seconds. That's, Don't know so why we that happened. Just do it for another. Do it another one, yeah. Right. Bada bang! Lift oh. up, lift up your little mind. All right. Grab your sheet of paper. Pop it in the developer for two minutes. You're printing your first photograph. I am, and I'm seeing it. <laughs> Holy smoke, let's go. Oh, this is so fire. Wow. This is fire. Woo! And look at that, the shadows down there. That's good. Oh, this is sick. But remember what you're looking at is like the equivalent of almost like a raw image. Yeah. Because you haven't dodged and burned it yet. Yeah. But still, this is absolutely beautiful. I can even, all the texture, everything. This is so sick. All right, young man. I think we can put that in the wash and we'll turn the light on. All right, here goes the light. All right, and ready for it. God damn, that's why we close our eyes. Yeah, all right, sick. I think we should fix this and get it more. To where? To where that should actually be, be on the crop, yeah. Yeah, especially. Yeah, because you got you said you got the shoes, right? Yeah, I got the shoes, but right. even so, like, if the crop is going to be an issue, I would much rather more of the face and the expression here anyway. Right. Because that's where I like my photography in order to be at, and the smoke, just the overall feel. Let's set it up. Boom, all right.
We're gonna make some changes to the crop here and we'll be right back. As we said like right at the beginning, what's this little stick for, right? Uh, yeah. And it's for dodging. So if we just hold it there, it's gonna be like a hard edge. Yeah. So to make like, think of it as a soft edge brush, brush we wanna fuzzy it, right? And because this is quite thick, we wanna make sure that's moving as well. Because if you just did that, then you'd get that line. Mm. So you wanna be moving like that. We're gonna do that for like three or four seconds on okay. that, on around that area yes. where we wanna lighten. All right. So first exposure is a full exposure. Now in this exposure, I'm just going to hit the top of the head for like a second. And this next one, I'm going to focus on that area that we want a little lighter, right? So this is one and this is two. So yes. I definitely like dodge the top here for a second. I thought it would give it a bit more kick, but I don't know. I think it might be too light. I might yeah. just prefer that. What do you think? That one? Yeah, personally, I prefer that. that one just a bit more. However, the one thing that I do definitely prefer more in this one is this section and yeah. the fact that I get more information for the shoes, which are... So I think we should part. maybe try and do a little more on that. Like, yeah. Like, we did dust this originally, but you know, the enlarger's old. We yeah. moved it around, so... We're just gonna really gently try and get that dust off. I can see it moving, so hopefully it'll all come off. Nice. All right, Lamont, so you, buddy. All right. Put in the groove. Put in the groove. If your hands are dry, don't don't worry about it. Okay. You don't handle the paper too much. All right, there you go. Perfect. All right, ready? Yep. So one full exposure. See where you're dodging? Yep. Okay. Start dodging. Yeah, so good, 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 good. A little higher, higher, higher. That's it. And then again, a little higher for right. the last one. A little higher, higher, higher. Oh, here we go. Ah, sorry. Got it. Good. Okay. Let's see how it looks. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is a little vignetting, whereas I'm going to just bring the size in a bit. I'm going to do it just uh, like this. One, two. Uh -huh. One, two. One, two. Did I do the top? No, you did not do the All top. Right. One, two. A little vignetting. Give it a little shape. Okay. Maybe. Let's Could see. be more finesse than that, I can't remember. All right, bud, yeah, two okay. minutes on the developer. And we oh, should nice. have our first reasonable print, I would think. It's jolly, la 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 la. I get the trip country, we get the ship sunches, the end Wednesday, la 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 la. Thursday solid, Friday constipated, la 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 la. Saturday Sunday, who cares? Sunday 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 Sunday, who cares? Oh, but that's still way better. Yeah, it's definitely better. You see the bottom of the coat better. Yeah. Yeah, it's subtle, but it's, it's there. A, yeah. And um, again... You see that see that little tiny vignette in there yeah. as well? How it's... It punches... Yeah, you yeah. see it. It punches in. This yeah. is... Yeah, this is cleaner. It's got a little toner, more tone over on that side. It's pretty. All right. Um, I think we're pretty close. All right, but I'm going to do this once more. Okay. Um, and I'm going to try and bring that out a little bit more and that's going to be our last print all right all right all right and boom oh, oh yes oh yes that's it that's that's, that's cockadoodling it yes that's beautiful boom but you know once again Lamont it's about taste yeah you know um Look, if we had the whole time in the world, would I go in maybe like, you know what I yeah. mean? But I think that's fabulous. Yeah, no, that's it. Look at the gradation. It's a, 
It doesn't have any digital gradation. Yeah. It's real. It feels. Yeah, it's just a different thing. Beautiful. We're gonna we're gonna run back to the studio, um, dry these out, and then just just put it all together. Big thank you to Penumbra Foundation for having us in their dark room. They are absolutely the best place on earth. And this dark room that you see is soon going to be a community dark room and you'll be able to come and rent for an hour or two hours and uh, it's going to change you as a photographer. We'll see you at the studio the next time. No, in a, in a minute. We'll see you at the studio in a minute. I might not be dressed the same. Yeah, it won't really be a minute because it's actually going to be tomorrow, but the producer asked for seeing the studio in a minute. So we'll see you in the, the studio, studio in, in a minute. minute. With different outfits. outfits. Yeah. <laughs> um, I see you changed up between the dark room and here. Yeah, yeah, you know, literally, it's kind of like a Clark Kent Superman type of vibe. You just walk in and just, wow, got a beard and everything. So, so <laughs> it's great. So listen, bottom line, experience worth it? I would like to say for the artistic venture, yeah, it makes you appreciate the process and the photos a lot more. Would I do that constantly though? From a millennial perspective, probably not. Yeah, like I think that it's great to see your art actually, like you have a hands-on just easy, well, it's not easy, let me not even use that word, but you have a hand-on experience in order to see the photo that you want. Plus I haven't actually seen the prints out either, so this is me thinking about it so far, but seeing all the stuff that you had to go through, you did that a lot when you were younger. But. I think in reality, nowadays, you'd shoot the film. Yeah, you just send it. You'd send it into a lab and yeah. you'd get digital scans back. Yeah, and I think that, that that would probably be the process that I would do. I don't think I could be the person in the dark room trying to get it right. Because, you know, I'm a It's kinda, work, man. Yeah, it's, it's work. work. And, you know, we're used to computers at this point. It's kind of like you have something that's really, really easy and convenient that Photoshop, um, Capture One, whichever these tools, they give you all these things to emulate being in a dark room, but it's just so much easier. And you get the instant gratification. The, but again, I haven't seen the prints yet, so uh, who knows, maybe I can find my inner hipster and be like, yeah, this was worth it. I would say you're 100% right. I think you, to your, um, to, to your credit, you got thrown in the deep end with a massive camera that's a beast. Um, you know, Deving film, I mean, is hard. Got it, it's hard. And also we're trying to film it. And da 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 da, -da. Yeah. Like, paper's expensive. But what I think we should do next, here's what I think we should do next, is get a 35 millimeter camera, okay. film camera. Yeah. Go out, have a lot of fun shooting it where it's like easy to handle. Nice little point and shoot. Let's send them off to the lab. Oh, hell yeah. I would actually be super down for that. Let's get on it. Yes. All right, guys, uh, that's kind of it. Hit us up with any questions. Um, check out Lamont on Insta and all his stuff. Uh, like and subscribe to uh, Complicated Things channel so I can buy some new jeans because mine have holes in them. <laughs> and I uh, will see you all next time. Later. Okay, so let's, we're going to get Gretz, Wayne Gretzky. I... <laughs>